hello welcome to my channel today we have missing deborah fortunato deal and she's been missing since march 24th 2006 she was 48 years old five foot six 170 pounds and she lived in augusta georgia she was last seen at her home in the 2300 block of woodbine drive in Augusta, Georgia at 4.30 p.m. on March 24, 2006. There has been no activity on her bank account or cell phones since she went missing. And this is the area where she lives so you can see. I will zoom in. I'm not certain if of the exact address, but that is the area, so. This might be the house that she lived in. I'm not certain. It's very sad. She had black hair, brown eyes. And we'll look at the Charlie Project. There's several pictures. Her nickname is Debbie. It says her husband John stated they argued. And Deborah told him, if you leave, I won't be around when you come back. But he didn't believe her, and he left the house. And when he came back, she was just gone. And so were some of her belongings. But there's been no activity on her bank account or cell phone. And he is considered a possible suspect in her disappearance. A photograph of him is posted with a case summary. He did not report her as a missing person. Her daughter filed a report over a month after she was last seen um they had a troubled marriage it says it says there was at least four domestic violence reports in the relationship in the year prior to her disappearance and at one point she claimed her husband had threatened her life he began cohabitating with his ex-wife after she went missing a fact he attempted to conceal from authorities he took a polygraph but the results were considered to be inconclusive and they believe he used some kind of countermeasures while he was taking the test. He was on felony probation at the time she disappeared. The same month she went missing, he pleaded guilty to selling methamphetamines. He moved to South Carolina four months after she disappeared and he was arrested there on several charges including burglary, grand larceny in 2007, but these charges are unrelated to her disappearance. She left home in the past, but she's never been gone for this long. Her case remains unsolved and is being investigated as a homicide. So, it's very sad. And... This is the Augusta Chronicle. It says, August 6, 2006, Timothy Cox. Four months after Deborah Dill disappeared from her home near Lake Olmstead, family members are wondering what happened to her. Lately, they're also, ask, also asking why her husband, the man police call the prime suspect in her disappearance, has been allowed to leave Augusta area in violation of an unrelated parole requirement. Sheriffs said that he's living in Greenville, South Carolina. He said Mr. Dill's probation officer um, confirmed that Mr. Dill, age 55, is a, on felony probation and not supposed to leave the state. They said he remains a suspect no matter where he's living. His whereabouts do not present a hindrance in this part of the investigation. As long as he can be located, we can get him if we need to. They said he was placed on probation March 7th after pleading guilty to selling methamphetamine. 
Um, they know that he lives in South Carolina, but he does not immediately, they don't immediately have plans to arrest him. His wife's been missing since March 24th, and on May 17th, police named him as a prime suspect in her disappearance. They said that he told deputies he would not cooperate, but then later he agreed to take a polygraph test, and after they believed that he used countermeasures while taking the test. Um, he had told investigators that his wife left their Woodbine home, rode home March 24th after an argument, and she took all her possessions with her, he said, according to the search warrant. According to affidavits used to obtain the search warrant, Mrs. Deal, 55, has not accessed her bank account or used her cell phone since the disappearance. A week after police made public their suspicions about Mr. Deal, deputies with search dogs checked out foul odors reported near the couple's Lake Olmsted home. They also scoured the woods behind an apartment complex near Doctor's Hospital where the couples once lived. Nothing was found, and her family still waits. A daughter... Amanda Daniels said she thinks about her mother every day, and so does her five-year-old son, Hunter, who is full of questions about his grandmother. He still asks me where is Nana, says, said Mrs. Daniels, 24, who is expecting another child this month. Mrs. Dill's daughter and other relatives have a lot of questions for investigators. We've contacted them, and they keep saying the case remains open. For her to have been gone for this amount of time, something has got to be wrong. She has illnesses, but she'd always check on my son, and she hasn't even tried to contact him. That means something is definitely wrong. Mrs. Daniel said she hopes that, despite the apparent standstill in the case, police are putting forth a formidable effort. She said she just wants to lay eyes on her mother's face one more time. All I know is that John Dill has taken off, and my mother is still out there somewhere. Asking what she thought had happened to her mother, Mrs. Daniel said, I don't think she's alive, but I still have some glimmer of hope. And there's his picture. So if you have any information about what might have happened to Deborah Fortunato Dill, please contact authorities and let them know. Don't forget to pray for our families and our loved ones. Feel free to leave comments. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.